there boys and girls how's everybody doing Q here it's uh, Tuesday I don't know July 27th 2021 it is freaking hotter than hell out here today hot and humid and it's probably a bad idea but I'm, I'm going for a ride so uh, yeah let's take the old uh, sorrow out and uh, see if I can stay in this for a little bit So away we go. It's probably a terrible idea. It's freaking hot out here. But uh, you know, let's go for a cruise. I was just watching some of the January 6th uh, insurrection coverage. Kind of pleased and amazed that Fox is even covering it. I figured they'd be talking about the dangers of uh, Black Lives Matter today or uh, how to neuter your pet or something important like that they seem to be carrying some of it at least uh, absolute disgrace but on to happier things bike feels pretty good tell it to go home so I get some idea how to get there and what time I'll get there come on ah feels good moving even in this heat I took the windshield extension off I've decided you know I'll put that on if I'm gonna go to North Dakota maybe but uh, for cruising around in the summer, I'd rather have the air. I still like this Arai Quantum X helmet. It's still a little tight on my cheeks. I took one layer out. Maybe I'll take another layer out. You're supposed to be able to do that. The first layer came out okay. And yeah, I'm just loving both of my bikes. I, I kind of want something for dirt. I want like a small scrambler. You know, both of my bikes are pretty big. The FJR is uh, just an absolute jet fighter. It's so fast, so powerful and smooth. But, you know, it's heavy and I, I don't want to drop that in the dirt with all its plastic work and all the rest of it. I just don't. Um, so then, you know, I'm looking at the... looking at the Indian Meteor. I'm sorry, the Royal Enfield Meteor. But it's just so small. I mean, it's just so underpowered. I can't, I can't buy a bike whose top speed is 70, who has to gasp and struggle to get to 70. I, this is America, man. You, you know, these highways just get eaten alive out there so that bike is out and it kind of sort of the same thing with the Royal Enfield Himalayan um, maybe a KTM 390 adventure but I, I just hate the looks of those things and again it's all this plastic that gets damaged if you drop it so you know I'm back really to the Triumph Scrambler and uh, so then there's the Street Scrambler, and then the XC, and then the XC. I know I don't need the XC. That's way too much for me. And it kind of defeats the purpose. Again, you got this super tall, very expensive bike. That's not what I want. I want something easy that I can, that I can ride in the, down the dirt road. That's really it. Or, or just tool around on. 
So, and so the XE is out. So then it, well, so is it XC or is it Street Scrambler? I, I, I've seen some reviews that say that, you know, Street Scrambler is perfectly capable of going down a dirt road. Uh, which is about really all I need. Or, or, to, or a, a trail, a two track or single track trail that's not all rocky and technical. So, um, yeah, and, and then I'm seeing street scramblers uh, for sale in the five to six thousand dollar range. So that that's a real possibility. Now I promised my son and my wife that I would not buy another bike in 2021. And man, that is a that's a tough promise to keep. I gotta tell you. I'm struggling with that promise. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm doing my best with that. So, but 2022 comes around, if I got $5,000, I'm, I'm buying a Scrambler. And if it has to be my third bike, it has to be my third bike. Now, both this Vaquero and my, uh, 2015 Yamaha FJR are uh, available for rent on Ridershare.com. My uh, Vaquero is uh, this bike is also available for rent on Twisted Roads. So if you want to check either of these out, that'd be great. And then uh, that money, any money I make from renting these guys, that's going to go right into the new bike uh, piggy bank. So, you know, it's July, I got another five months. I just gotta hold out, man. I just gotta hold out another five months. Otherwise, I gotta pay my kid 50 bucks. I bet him $50. I could go until 2022 without buying any bike. Well, someday, I gotta go in that park and see what, what's going on in there. Today's maybe a little too hot for tooling around at 15 miles an hour, but I gotta check that out. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much what's going on. I'm not going to talk too much more in this heat. My, my voice is already getting super dry. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And maybe I'll post a little more video with some music here. Thanks again.